Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be offering you possibly my most meta video ever. I'm going to be giving you a screencast of a screencasting tool, a nifty tool called Loom. And Loom lets you screencast videos for all different types of things. You can use them as a for your students, you can use them as a student, you can use them as a teacher, librarian, you can use them to showcase anything that is on your screen. That can be with presentations, games, any area of education. You can demonstrate digital online tools like what I'm doing here. You can give step-by-step -step pieces of information of how to use databases and other online demonstrations. Your students can use them for step-by-step -step information for their peers. This can be used in any way, shape, or form for anything that you would like to share online. It is a screencasting tool. In other words, you are capturing everything on your screen in a short video. To install it is very easy. You just do a one-click install right here with your Chrome browser, and you will notice in my upper right-hand corner, I now have the Loom install. And then once you have installed it, you can continue with Google or with Slack, depending on which way you prefer. I have uh, Google accounts, so I'm going to be going in with Google. It will ask you to choose which Google account you prefer to use. I already have mine set up. And then from here, you can proceed to create a Loom video. Now this is going to give you a list of your dashboard, your videos. You'll notice I don't have anything in here right at this moment. But what we're going to do is go up here and do a Loom create a video. Now it's going to give you a few options. First off, it's going to let you choose whether you'd like to have your picture here in the lower left hand corner. If you'd like it to be bigger, smaller, you can make it really big, it's up to you, you can see me. If you guys don't get to see me very often, that is okay. You can do full screen or you can do full camera. If you would like to just have yourself talk, narrate, this would be great for storytelling. However you might like to use this, I teach a storytelling class, so that could be very useful. Lots of different things. So let's say that I wanted to record both video of myself as well as screen share. So it's going to ask you to share your screen. So you say that you want to share. It's going to give you a countdown. And then let's say that I want to tell folks specifically about the American Association of School Librarians' best websites for teaching and learning. I used to be a member of that committee. I used to be chair of that committee. I have a special fondness for that committee. So say that I wanted to do a demonstration on how to use the best websites past site. And you'll notice that every time I open a new page, my video shows up over in the corner. And again, you can change the size. You can actually change the position. You can move it around. I can actually drag it over here to the other side. You can put it in the center of the page. You can do whatever you want with it. And then from here, I could go through. I could talk about the database. I could talk about past lists. That's not what we're here about. I'm showing this as a screencasting tool. And you can go on, use this, share whatever it is that you're wanting to demonstrate, and be done and finish from there. OK, so let's say that I'm finished with my video. And then at that point, I'm done with my screen. I'm done with whatever it is that I am demonstrating. When I'm done, it's gonna, you're going to see down at the bottom where it says to stop sharing your screen. And then your video is finished. You can instantly share it to Slack. You can instantly share it with others. You can do video permissions. You can cut. You can edit. You can share, it is up to you, or you can move it to your folder. You can also put in emoji reactions within your video, so that's a lot of fun. You can download it, and you can also do total views. Downloading is really nice because then you have the option for being able to download this as an MP4. So when I click on download, I can also download this as an MP4, which means I can share it in my own location of choice, whether that's Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, wherever you like to save. Or you can automatically load this up on Loom. You can automatically load this up on Slack. You can put this on Google, or you can take the MP4. You can put it over into YouTube, wherever you like to house your videos. And as we know, YouTube will automatically caption videos for you. So that's really nice as well. But Loom gives you some extra stuff. One, you can have your image down in the corners. You can move your image around so they can see you as well as the screencast. You can also do emoji reactions. Uh, you actually have your link for your page that it was recorded on. All different types of stuff. You can also go to my videos. And then you can see all the videos that you have created. So Loom is free. 
You are limited to a certain amount of time using Loom. You have up until 10 minutes to be able to record. And they do store the videos here on Loom, but of course you do have the download option to be able to load them up where you would like. So you have a lot of options with Loom, a lot of things you can do with Loom. I really enjoy it. Hope you do too. Check it out. Please subscribe to my channel. We'll have more videos for you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.